On Hurricane Barrel now setting its sights on the Yucatan Peninsula. Wind speeds right now 110 miles per hour as of the 4 p.m. advisory. Again, that eye becoming a little bit more defined in this afternoon, so the wind shear hasn't had a huge impact on that. Still very warm waters over the Caribbean as well, so expected to still be a powerful hurricane by the time it makes landfall over the Yucatan Peninsula, expected in areas south of Cancun. But remember, this is just the track of the eye of the hurricane. The impacts can be felt well outside of just the eye. They're sprawling systems, and they can bring impacts even to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. The high risk for upcurrents expected all the way through this weekend. Expected to weaken once it makes that landfall, then over the southwestern Gulf, only a tropical storm for much of the time, then strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane before its next landfall in northeastern portions of Mexico and far southern portions of Texas. But again, like I said, these are expansive systems, so you're going to have impacts as far north in areas like Houston with that rough surf, heavy rainfall, and gusty winds. So watching for those impacts as we head to the end of the weekend and the start of next week, and will weaken quickly throughout the course of next week as well. So watching another area of tropical development as well. This is a very low chance of formation. Could see some very slow development as it makes its way west and northwest, but that shear will likely not allow it to develop anytime soon. It's a good sign for areas in the south western Gulf. Rip current risk, like I said, will be high Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so be mindful of that if you're spending time at our local beaches. I know the weather is going to be very summer like with those afternoon showers and storms and hot temperatures, so you'll want to go down to the beach to enjoy the weather, but again, high risk for rip currents. Be very mindful of that at the local beaches. Heat has been the big story today. Temperatures uh, sitting in the mid 90s for most spots. Then we had that heat index values well over 100 degrees for some areas into this afternoon. Some spots are a little bit cooler thanks to some rain, but still some heat index values close or above 100 degrees. So I hope you're drinking plenty of water. Stay very hydrated into tomorrow as well. With another heat advisory in place from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. For the entire News 5 viewing area, heat, and heat index values again as high as 110 degrees. They're going to be a very, very hot afternoon. Some isolated showers and storms across the area still into this afternoon. Some over the Mobile Bay, a few over in uh, Scambia County and southeastern portions of Baldwin County as well. But these are staying very isolated and these will slowly wind down over the next couple of hours with lower rain chances into tonight for your fireworks festivities. But 60% 60, 60 chance you need the Green and Phillips umbrella into tomorrow. So more rain chances into the back half of the day, especially later into the evening. So I'm expecting those higher rain chances, a hot afternoon, then showers and storms closer to dinner time, so be mindful of that into tomorrow. Here's how the News 5 predictor looks. Pretty quiet into the rest of this evening. Those showers winding down. We'll keep some scatter clouds into tomorrow morning. Maybe a few coastal showers. Quiet for the most of the afternoon as well, but then by the time we hit the late evening into the uh, around 7, 8, 9 o'clock, we have those scattered showers and storms expected. So be mindful of that. Just have the rain gear handy in case you're caught one of those downpours. Rain chances staying around 50% through the weekend. Temperatures in the mid 90s are staying very hot, even higher rain chances to start next week.